The movie 1922 is based on a novella by Stephen King. The movie begins with Farmer and main character Wilfred writing his confession letter in a hotel. One year before, Wilfred's wife was given 100 acres of land by her father. Wilfred wanted to keep this land and eventually pass it on to his son, Henry. Wilfred is quoted as saying, Man's pride was man's land. And so was his son. Arlette, though, wants the family to cash in the land and move to St. Louis as she has a dream of opening her own dress shop. Wilfred ain't trying to move to no St. Louis. The cities are for fools. So Arlette makes one last proposal. They sell the land, split the money down the middle, and divorce. We both know that's what you want. The catch in this equation, though, is that Arlette is going to take Henry to the city with her. Wilfred ain't having that either. So then Wilfred goes to Henry in secret like, look, man, you like your school? He like, yeah. You like this land? He like, yeah. Well, look. Look, we got options. We got to kill your mama. And if you've seen the trailer, then you know this ain't the last of all that. At a time where women were limited to working pink collar jobs, Owning this amount of land would make anyone pretty powerful. At minimum, Arlette would be able to call her own shots. This speaks to a woman being able to be fully autonomous during the 1920s. Wilfer says in the beginning of the film, I've grown to hate my wife. I would imagine that this is largely because he can't control her. She has land, meaning she has money, meaning she has options. She has a dream and she isn't depending on anyone to make it happen for her. But Wilfred got a dream too, and that's where the conflict lies. 1922 was a newer version of Edgar Allan Poe's Telltale Heart. Like Telltale Heart, 1922 was about reaping what you sow, living with the consequences of one's actions and not being able to escape guilt. The tone of this movie is tension and terror. The story itself feels very Old Testament. The land given to Arlette by her benevolent yet unseen father, which is shown in lush green hues, could be the Garden of Eden. In one sense, Wilfred feels like Adam in his perspective of, what can be better than this land? What's better than this? In another sense, he feels like a prisoner, afraid to venture out beyond his insecurities, into the unknown into the city. On the other hand, Arlette is like Eve. She wants to open Pandora's box. She wants to see what's out there. She wants to blaze a new trail. She wants that knowledge of what's beyond her everyday comfort zone. The acting in this movie is outstanding. Thomas Jane as Wilfred is uncanny. He walks and talks like he's always chewing tobacco and has something up his sleeve. Molly Parker is stern and tenacious, but when the movie goes into full horror mode, she is terrifying. This movie is sort of a slow burn, but it's worth it. Stephen King and director Zach Hilditch laced this movie with hard-hitting dialogue. It doesn't have a ton of jump scares. There are some gruesome scenes, and I mean some of them are absolutely disturbing. The sound effects are chilling. Also, I'm gonna let you know, if you can't take the sight of rats, then don't watch this movie, because rats are every damn way. This movie has some amazing shots, and it's wonderful to look at. I'm gonna watch it again. I'm giving 1922 an 8.4 out of... 10. Are you going to watch 1922? What you think? Let me know. Comment below. If you like this video, like and share this video. If you would like to help me make more videos, pledge one dollar or whatever you feel to my Patreon page. This keeps me out of the Hunger Games and in front of yo face. Lastly, if you would like to promote your business, your album, your event, your platform on one of these videos, come holla at me. We got more movie reviews coming you, and we got more book reviews coming you, and we got more of that random stuff coming your way. I'm in the bathroom.